For the slow motion effect, I would recommend shooting your video footage in 60 frame rates or higher. This allows it to play back much smoother. Now, I have a little clip on my timeline. Here is my training partner pretending to lift heavy weights. Now, I can apply this slow motion in three ways. I can just simply click on my clip, bring the cursor to the end of my project, and hold down my shift key. And you'll notice that my cursor is now white. Left click and I can drag or stretch the clip out. And you can also see with a little window on the, on the right, the percentage is going down. So, and that's how fast the playback would be on my clip. So that is one way of doing this. Secondly, I can double click and now I have two more options here. Variable speed, speed and time lapse. So let's take a look at the variable speed option first. So here we go, we are right now into the variable speed option interface. So this one works with keyframes. So if I was to move the CTI along the timeline, get to the point where I wish to add the slow motion effect, I simply add a keyframe and then decrease my playback speed here. So right now I'm at 38% and then I can drag the current time indicator along again and then add a new keyframe and then bring it back to 100% or if I wished even further but 100 is OK. And then I simply press OK. So this is a very good effect if you're trying to do the 300 movie style. OK, so now let's have a look at the speed and time lapse option. OK, so this is the speed and time lapse interface. It's a very simple interface. I just have this one slider here and that uh, allows me to increase or decrease the playback speed but it will apply the speed to the entire clip. So if I bring the speed down to say 37%, the whole clip will then play back at 37%. And you'll notice that when I press OK, that it instantly stretches out the clip on the timeline. Now watch what happens when I press play. Now you can see that the slow motion is not really that smooth and that's because we haven't set the project settings to match the clip setting. So first thing I'm going to do is undo and then I'm going to right click on my clip to have a look at my settings. So here we go, it's 1280 by 720 at a frame rate of 59.94. So that's good for slow motion. Now let's have a look at the project settings. So settings project settings and in my property window I can see that the current settings is 19, 20, 1080 at 24 frames per second so this is not going to match my clip and the frame rate is too low. Now in Video Studio Pro X7 they give you lots of new presets in your project settings so you've got a whole new list of settings that you can instantly apply to your project so I'm going to stay with the advanced video coding high definition because I can see here it's 1280 by 720 at 60p. So in my properties I can see it's 59.94 frames per second and that is ideal. A little window tells me that they're going to change the project settings and press OK. So now my project settings and my clip are the same. So it's very easy now to add the slow motion effect again. So I'm going to go back down to about 25%. Press OK. And now let's have a preview. So now you can see the transition or the, the effect is much smoother.